Hey everyone, this is Nicole from Swing My Heart Podcast, and you are watching Hallmark Happenings. Well, thank you so much for talking. You're We're welcome. going to be talking about Rama drama and kind of yes. talking a little bit about romance and style. So I guess yes. first off, let's talk about Rama drama. That was so exciting. Yes. I know yes. they've only had it, what, a couple of years now, but it looks like it's a fun event. <laughs> it is. It's really fun. I had a great time. I could tell you were doing lots of stuff, meeting all the people, Aww. getting up on stage. Could you believe when you got to go on stage and sing a duet? What, and forgive me, I'm not like so knowledgeable of all like the people involved with the postables world because I've just recently discovered it. But yeah. when you got up to sing with her, Kristen, I believe. Was Kristen that like? <laughs> it was a lot of fun. She was really sweet to do it. And of course, as a lot of the postables may know that were there. She was feeling a little under the weather. So the fact she still got up there to do it with me was really sweet. Yeah, that's amazing. Cause not everybody got to get up there. Yeah. That was nice of her. So that's really cool. Yeah, it was really, it was nerve wracking, but at the same time, you don't get a chance like that every day. So I was like, I'm going to take it while I can. So Yes, absolutely. Make the most of such a fun trip. <laughs> yes. I, I don't think that will ever fully sink in that, that, <laughs> hey if you go to the next drama drama who knows who you'll be doing a duet with next <laughs> who knows but it was a lot of fun meeting all the postables and meeting all the hallmark actors of course the signs of delivered cast on saturday we had a great time we had a luncheon with the signs of delivered cast well the postables ticket holders for drama drama had a special luncheon with the cast and they all came and interacted with us and Zach Santiago, who plays Ramon Rodriguez on the show, he and Eric, who plays Oliver and Gregory, who plays Joe, Oliver's dad, they had a little banter back and forth <laughs> at the luncheon with one of the postables made a, a cube with like with quotes on each side of the cube from the show from their character. So Ramon was like reciting lines from his cube. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Oh, that's so fun. I bet y'all, like, especially like super fans were like, oh my gosh, yes. this is so cool. <laughs> yes, there was one, well, this wasn't a line, but this was just like improv from Zach. At one point, Zach was like, I'm going to open a hair salon in Mil Milwaukee. And then, you know, he was talking to Eric at this point and Zach says, and you're going to come with me. <laughs> and then another point, like a few seconds later, I think Zach said, and your father would be very proud of you. And then like, everyone looks at Gregory and Gregory's like, indeed I would. That's too funny. I bet everyone just loved that. Yeah. Such a cool like experience where you're like getting to interact with them and like be in the same room. That's so fun. Yeah. And then, of course, we had the SSD games, which were hosted and put together by my wonderful friends, Casey, Kimmy, and Jess from Deliver Me, a podcast. And we had skits that some of the postables were selected to act out in on Sunday, including myself, which was a lot of fun. And let's see, I believe we had some trivia, like questions that we were asked from the show. And I'm trying to think of what else. I can't remember everything else, but like that whole weekend is just a lot of fun and it's all a blur, but yeah. Yeah, that's so funny how it like, you're so excited for it. And then all of a sudden it happens and you're like, it was yeah. a whirlwind. What just happened? Yes. And of course the Postables panel, you know, hearing all the stories from the cast, that was a lot of fun. And during the panel is when they actually announced the Postables who would be acting out in the skits on Sunday for the SSD games. And uh, I believe Kristen had read her five names, like five names of postables that would be acting out in the scene that she picked. And then Eric read his five names for postables for his scene. And then it got to Crystal and Crystal read all the names. Like I think Crystal read three, two or three names. And then she read mine and I was like, oh, is this actually happening? That's so amazing. I bet you were so excited. I'm glad you got yes, that opportunity. I was, I was so surprised. I was like, they did not just call my name. 
out of like 120 postables or something. That's amazing. It's like you won the lottery. (laughs) A little bit, yes. And of course, uh, I'm trying to remember everything. It was amazing to meet Andrew in person. We had Andrew on our podcast a couple months ago. Such a nice guy. And Tyler as well. And I met Brittany Bristow. And I'm trying to think of who else. I met Lily Ann Harrison, who is Gregory Harrison's daughter. She was in the movie Christmas Camp, which is based on the book Christmas Camp by Karen Shaler. And the author Karen Shaler was there as well. So I met her. Riley Weston, who is the screenwriter of Good Morning Christmas with Allison Sweeney and Mark Blucas. She was there and I met her. She was really sweet. Neil Bledsoe. He is hilarious. He is such a nice guy. And he and Riley hosted karaoke night. They did such an amazing job. Yeah, I'll tell you what, that Neil Bledsoe has some personality, I think. (laughs) Yes. And Wes Brown, I met Wes Brown. He's a nice guy too. Oh my gosh. All the cool people were there. That's so fun. I'm so glad you got to do that. Uh, It looked like it was an amazing experience. Will you be going next year? I hope so if it's close <laughs> to where I am, but a lot of fun. I unfortunately I didn't get to meet Jesse Hudge or Aaron Cahill or Danica McKellar, but that's okay. Yeah. Or Drew Fuller and I'm trying to remember the other one. I think that's it. I think those are the only three I didn't meet, but pretty much met four. everybody. Yeah. <laughs> that's exciting. Well. Hopefully, if you get to go next time, you'll get to meet yes. some more people. Maybe they'll bring some new faces, and that's really cool. Yes. And the guys from Deck the Hallmark were there as well. They got up at karaoke night, and they sang, I Want It That Way from the Backstreet Boys, and what a performance. Oh, classic. Just classic. That's amazing. <laughs> yes. And, of course, I can't go by without saying what an amazing job Cammie did with her performance with Andrew which was the closing number of karaoke night. (laughs) And one of the other best moments before we get into our recap, I would have to say would be the auction for Shane's wedding dress from uh, Kristen Booth. Fatula, who is one of the postables, a big part of the postables family, she won the auction and you know she won Shane's wedding dress and when she came up on stage to you know accept it she got up to the mic and she said something along the lines of as much as I love the dress and want to keep it I'm going to give it to one of your youngest fans and she gave it to one of Kristen's youngest fans Serena who was there with her mom to wear at her wedding when the time comes. What a kind act. That's so nice of her to do that. I bet Serena was so excited as well. Yes, it was an amazing weekend and I'm glad that I got to be there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of like a once in a lifetime thing. I'm so glad yeah. um, the ladies, Gabrielle and Sarah yeah, over yeah. Mama Drama created this for everybody. So Thank yeah, huge you. kudos yeah. to them for making what an amazing experience. Also, I just want to shout out everyone and anyone who live streamed yes. for those of us who do not have financial means to partake yes. in such a fun event. It was kind of like you were there. <laughs> yeah, aw, thanks. Yeah. I had a great time and I'm glad that I got to stream it for everyone that was not there. Oh yeah. And I tell you what, I was watching the live stream of Andrew's, um, karaoke and I was, just yes. like, I was, it was my, my jaw was dropping. I was like, what is this? This is amazing. I know. Um, when you come up there the first time to sing, this is how we do it. I was like, this is not happening right now. I think it was his dance moves. Like with his little legs, you know, doing their thing. I was just, <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> it was great. Was Thank priceless. you Andrew for that. <laughs> but he did a great job. They all did. Everyone did a great job. Oh, totally. Well, thank you so much for sharing on your fun experience. I, it looked like you were having the best time. I just loved looking at all the photos. So I'm glad of you course, got to go. Yeah. I'm, sure guess, oh. sure, I'm, sure I'm sure everyone's like sick of hearing about Rama drama, but no, no, not at all. I don't think any of us could ever get sick of it. It was so fun. <laughs> yes, it was a great weekend. 
That's awesome. Well, so glad you got to do that. So fun hearing about it. Now we're going to talk a little bit about romance and style, which um, was with JC Elliott and Benjamin Hollingsworth and with Laura Sultis as well. And she was playing a little bit of a Meryl Streep oh, Prada, which was kind of fun because she, in a flash of love, she was playing such a nice character. So she was fun yeah. to hear in this, but yeah. What, what did you like about the movie? I loved the message of it. I think that was my favorite part about it. Yeah, it was wonderful. It was really, I thought the script was really well done and how they talked about body positivity throughout. And yeah. like, I thought JC, how she played the character. She was so strong. I thought that was wonderful. Okay. She was, they all did an amazing job. And I loved how Ben and Laura were in the, their second movie together within like a week. Oh, I forgot. I mean, yeah, because he was in that too. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so nuts. And I know you've yeah. been busy. You told me you're taking notes. So what, what's next on your uh, list of things? Because I want to hear your thoughts. Because I didn't know quite, I haven't done a recap in like a year. So you lead the way. <laughs> I just have, you know, a general overview of the movie. You know, we know that Ella, she is a fashion designer and she lives in New York City. I thought they did a really good job making New York City look like New York City and like the fashion scene. That was really yeah. cool because sometimes they do yeah. that, but this one felt like legitimate. That was fun. Yeah, that was awesome. I wrote down that in her conversation with Katie, so this was like in one of the first scenes, uh, Ella, she mentions that Every time she talks to her mom or brother, she tries to convince them that her designer dream is going strong and they always pretend to believe her. Oh, yeah. It's like when you're a struggling artist because the designer is an artist. So mm -hmm. that was nice. They're, they're supporting her until she makes it, which she does. Yeah. <laughs> we meet Derek and we hear a little bit about what's going on with the magazine. The subscriptions are down and they're losing advertisers. He says that the magazine is outdated and the subscribers don't relate to the content. Claudia, she is the editor-in-chief of the magazine. She and Roger, who is Derek's father, supposedly they go way back, but we don't know a lot about their history. I'm, I'm guessing that they just have worked together a long time because he runs the publishing company or the mm -hmm. family publishing company. Derek's job is to make sure the magazine is profitable. Roger suggests they build out two of their other publications by amping up their digital presence. Initially, that means that they'll leave the print magazine alone, but the re research and results from the digital magazine will be applied to print as they move forward. Yes, there was kind of a lot going on. They were trying to tackle yeah. a lot, but um, I thought I was wondering, like, what did you think of JC and Ben's performance? I loved it. I thought they had great chemistry together. They did. I was at, like of a lot of the movies recently. I thought they had some yeah. of the most chemistry we've seen. <laughs> yeah, really great chemistry. I love the scene when Ella is teaching Derek the fashion 101. I thought that was really cute. It was. And is that, that was when they had their moment, like where their hands touched on the fabric. Is that right? Oh yeah. 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 Well, the first, we get, we get the first one, I believe when they're having coffee and then the oh, second right. one <laughs> is when they're looking at the silk fabric. Okay. I was like, I, there are two fashion one-on-one -on -one moments. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was great. I thought um, all the moments were so nice. And I thought the way they built up, like their relationship was really lovely. It just as yeah. characters, they were so great. It yeah. was nice. I hope we see more of Ben in movies. He's too. wonderful. Yes, he is. I loved, even though Derek was a little rude, <laughs> I loved their first meeting at the coffee shop when he was on the phone and she was just like, excuse me, we have people online here. Yeah, she was like, you're taking up our time. Get get it moving, Buster. Just take the soy milk and go on. <laughs> yeah, she's like, oh, she's waiting for you. The barista is waiting for your order. Yeah, that, and he was on the phone, you know, that just like, that's what today uh, is like. It's just awkward. It's like, uh, if, I guess when it's your turn, just put the phone away. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Ben was, or not Ben. I'm saying his real name, Derek. I do just like. <laughs> I will have to call you back. He was, they were so great. Like they had such like, you know, like yeah. cat dog thing at first. And then it was so fun. Yes. Another scene I really loved was Ella and Katie when they first walk in the closet and Ella says, 
I feel like Dorothy entering Oz. Yeah, and then she's naming all like the the Armani and Gucci yeah. and all that fun stuff. I was like, oh, this is cool. Yeah, Katie says, start clicking your heels because here we go. And Ella says, Gucci. I mean, it's like I died and went to designer heaven. <laughs> the script was so good. The script yeah. was so good. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. You, I just watched the movie, so I was, I'm trying to like remember everything that just happened. <laughs> yes. Another moment between Ella and Katie that I really loved was when they hear Claudia and Liza and Derek in the closet and you know Katie's not Katie Ella is the first one to hear and you know she walks over and it's kind of like hiding behind a rack and then Katie comes up behind her and they start talking about Derek and Katie says the look is losing money so they sent the prince of publishing to help revive it that's what they call him and Ella's like who calls him that and Katie's like, a lot of people, the press, he's a hot topic. A dating site took a poll. He was voted the seventh most eligible bachelor in New York City. That's a big city. So if you make the top 10, I think that's a good thing. Yeah, it's really oh. good. <laughs> so you're mentioning all these moments. What was your favorite moment? Oh, goodness. Um, I think one of my favorite moments would probably have to be the dance even though it was really mm. short it was sweet though very like you could tell they're just like their sparks were flying they were yeah. like, in love you could just yeah. tell it was great and then her dress was beautiful yes I loved that dress yeah I, the costuming was amazing in this I big shout out to the costume designers on this it looked wonderful yeah. So uh, yeah, huge, huge uh, kudos to them. And uh, wow, we're, I can't believe we're already approaching 30 minutes nearly. This is crazy. Um, wow. But I guess I'm trying to think, is there uh, anything else you want to add about the movie before we finish up? I loved, there, there was one moment I really loved when they were at the photo shoot for the first time, I believe. And Ella meets Umberto, the photographer, and he's defending her about the necklace. <laughs> And he's like, I agree, the necklace needs to go. That was interesting, wasn't it? I was like, hmm. And then, yeah. then of course, Claudia didn't like that. But yeah, um, <laughs> yeah that of was course. great. And then uh, it, the photos at the end were really sweet. I thought when they showed like yeah. uh, with Candace, uh, they did the photos actually, yeah. what the photos look like. I thought that was wonderful. So that was yeah. really fun. And then the music was, at the end, I was like, Lizzo. I was like, okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's a good song. Yeah, it, it was definitely a progressive movie with lots of good messages. So it sounds like you really enjoyed it. Yes, I did. I would probably have to say that my favorite moment in the whole movie, so like my number one favorite would be the end scene. Yeah. It Everything just, works out. It did work out. Everyone was supportive and it ended up being yeah. a really positive note. I love that. Well, this has been great chatting with yes. you, Nicole. Well, thank, and thank you, you so for much your for time. This was a lot of fun. It was, and we'll get together again soon. We'll totally do another yes. uh, Zoom call, another podcast recording. But yeah, you're yes. having so much success with Swing My Heart. So anyone, let's check them out. Oh, thank I'll you. The, of course, I'll put the link in the show notes so everyone can know where to follow you if they aren't already. Sounds good. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, I had a great course. time. Have a great rest of your day, Nicole. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you love all things up TV, Hallmark channel, GAC family, basically all of your made for TV movie channels, click that subscribe button. So you don't miss out on any of the previews, the recaps, or the interviews until next time. Thank you so much for listening to Hallmark Happenings. Have a great day.